Good afternoon. We're here on the Euro Japanese Yen on the M1 time frame, looking at a stall signal leading us to a five minute binary option here on the Euro Japanese Yen to go long, higher call for a $5,000 investment. And I'll quickly go back to the chart shortly to show you why we took this trade. Let's just uh, wait for the price to set in. It is fluctuating. There we go. So we're going to buy in again. That price has changed. We should now be in. Okay, there's a little bit of fluctuation. Don't worry about the fluctuation. That'll fix itself shortly now. Look at that stall signal. A stall signal is essentially a negative bar. And there we are back in the money traversing really quickly. The stall signal is such a unique signal to ITM Saturn Pro. It's only shown to you when there is a very high probability of a continuation. Now, a stall signal usually appears with an arrow. Remember, in ITM Saturn Pro, when you see an arrow, it is not a sell signal or a buy signal. It is a pointer telling you that that pin bar in particular is of utmost importance. That stall signal is usually a down pointing arrow on an up facing bar or a positive bar with a negative arrow. That implies that a retracement or slight temporary stall is due to happen after which price will most of the time aggressively escalate towards or in the direction it was already in, which in this case was long. Furthermore, you have 100% high call option probability on M1 and M5 timeframes shown to you by ITM Saturn Pro, with the next Fibonacci target also showing as 23.6% or 139.844 according to the fibs drawn by ITM Saturn Pro. This is a classic example of taking a high probability trade on say a comfortable five minute time frame that ensures that you have optimal entry. A stall signal is particularly useful in these situations. As you can see, we just placed a live trade here immediately after I saw the stall signal because the retracement usually happens for a very short period of time, particularly when it's already going towards a high probability Fibonacci target of 23.6%. Now we're still two minutes or so into this trade. What happens when it does reach the 23.6%? There we go. We have three minutes and something seconds remaining on this trade. Price has now comfortably gone into the money zone. Now the 23.6%. 38.2, 50, and 61.8% retracements have certain attributes. The 23.6 is known to have the least volatility fluctuation, which means that it is a comfortable target if you are a few minutes away from it. In our case, we placed a five minute binary option after the stall signal, so we got two minutes and something seconds remaining for this trade to expire in the money before any fluctuations are due to happen at that next retracement level of 23.6%. But we could have taken a longer trade here. We could have taken a touch trade to go even long to say the 38.2, to about the 139.96 level here because the 23.6% historically does not provide as much resistance to price as the 38.2, 50, and 61.8 drawn by ITM Saturn Pro. A lot of you have commented on the fact that FIBs are drawn here and how are they related to ITM Saturn Pro. These Fibonacci levels are drawn by ITM Saturn Pro as high probability levels projections. They're not drawn by me on screen. Uh, they're drawn by the software. So that is the difference between uh, a manual strategy and an ITM Saturn Pro based strategy. It is drawing those high probability FIBs for you, which is why we trust them more than I trust myself, for example, because there may be so many different factors that influence my judgment. Here, as you can see, it's a beautiful trade that's gone off of the stall signal and it's just escalated in the money with a comfortable time frame remaining here. It's going to keep fluctuating in its little money zone. 23.6, as you can see, does not offer so much volatile price resistance and price when it does bounce off of it or approaches it, you see a small degree of resistance before uh, price eventually breaks through the 23.6 on most occasions and heads towards the 38.2, 50 and 61.8. Those three levels being of higher resistance factors than the 23.6. So when it reaches the 38.2, you're bound to see a retracement, say, down to the 23.6 before the further escalation to 50. 50 can retrace down to 38.2 and 23.6 on some occasions. And the 61.8% is the most powerful of them all. That is the deciding factor between whether you're going to see a sharp reversal down. In most cases, it is always a continuation of the bearish trend in this case, as we are in a bearish trend. But the 61.8%, which hasn't been reached and is a long way from being reached right now, is particularly useful in ascertaining where the price will go next. Is it going to fluctuate back down in the same direction? Or it could break through and head towards the 100% leading to a full 100% retracement. So that's why this trade is so comfortable, taken off of a stall signal uh, shown by ITM Saturn Pro 
because it's variable, it's within the range, it's about to pierce its 23.6, it's got many fib levels to go, and ITM Saturn Pro is showing a 100% high call option probability for that very reason, taking all these factors into consideration that I just talked to you about. We've got 21 seconds remaining on this trade here. We're comfortably in the money. As you can see, just a few seconds worth of staying outside of the money before it just stayed in that new territory. Beautifully timed trade, optimal entry point. That is why ITM Saturn Pro is so useful. It's the best thing to use when trying to get into the market that is time sensitive, like binary options. You need to time your trades well. Otherwise, no matter how good your trading ability, you may always end up losing because you mistimed the trade. So now we've expired in the money. We've breached through the 23.6. Our next target here is the 38.2. We don't need to worry about that because we've already expired in the money. $8,500 gross return for a $3,500 net profit. Thank you.